Terry Schultz and I'm Legally Crafty, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you from Alito, Texas. And I haven't been on here in a while. Um, it's a crazy time in our world, as we all know, and it's been a crazy time. But I'm back and I'm really happy to be stamping with you again. And I wanna show you a really fun card that I made. Um, I'm gonna change it up a little bit from the sample that I have. But first I wanna show you our new catalog, which goes live one week from Wednesday on June 3rd. So you'll be able to order from this catalog in a week. So that means some of the things in our old catalog won't be available a week from now and um, you might want to get some of them. But this is our new catalog and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's a little bit thinner than our normal annual catalog. That's because our occasion or mini catalogs are gonna be bigger. So Stampin' Up's just changing up a little bit the way they do things, but there's some really awesome things in this catalog and I can't wait for you to see them. So that's that. And I wanna show you the sample. So this is the sample card that I made. Um, and this uses the, I think it's the lovely Lily's stamp set, which was a celebration item. So I'm not gonna do, um, I'm not gonna use that for this card because the celebration items are no longer available, unfortunately. Um, and this stamp set with these really big sentiments that I love. Seriously, the best is in our spring mini catalog. So, and it's not carrying over. So this one will not be available more than a week from now. Today is May 25th, it's Memorial Day. So you can get this stamp set through the mini, current mini catalog until next Tuesday, June 2nd. So um, if you like it and you love these big sentiments like I do, I encourage you to get this one right away. So you can get it on my website and there'll be a link um, in this with this video. So let's get started. I'm using Lovely Lipstick Cardstock and this is one of the um, 20, 18 to 2020 in colors. That means it's going away in a week as well. So this is a really fun color and I have a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So it is um, five and a half by eight and a half and then I'm just folding it in half and, and scoring it with a bone folder. And then I have a piece of um, basic black and a piece of whisper white and I'll put the dimensions um, below the video. So I'm gonna start by using this stamp from the Seriously the Best stamp set. That's this stamp right here. And these are clean stamps, as you can see. So they have um, foam with the rubber, with the stamp. So you can just stamp right on your stamping surface with these. And I'm stamping in gray granite for this one, just to give a light little, um, uh, a light, you can see how I did, it's just some a light leaves um, in gray granite. And I, I'm gonna start over on this side because I stamped that off to make it real light, as you can see. So I'm just stamping off once and then stamping on my cardstock just so it's a real light, subtle um, color. And I'm just going to randomly stamp that on my paper like this. And I'm really just kind of staying on this edge, um, as you can see. So this part of it is staying white. I'm not stamping on that. I'm gonna put one in that corner so it kind of comes around. And then I'm gonna clean this stamp off using my Simply Chamois, which is awesome for cleaning your stamps. You just keep it wet with water and you just rub the stamps on there and it just cleans them off real nice. And you can see that that stamp is clean. So I'm gonna close that up. And then 
what I did after I stamped this one is I cut I die cut a circle out toward the top and this time instead of the lovely Lily stamp set and dies I'm using the painted poppies stamp set and there are two sets of dies painted labels this is a bundle and then the poppy moments dies which goes with the peaceful moments I think is what it's called and both of these these are in the current mini catalog but they are carrying over to the annual catalog so you'll be able to get both of these bundles which is super awesome because they are really fun stamp sets so I'm gonna use this label or whatever it is from the painted poppies dies or whatever they're called I can't remember now painted labels dies and I'm just gonna cut that out like that and so that it stays in place I'm going to just hold it down with a piece of masking this purple tape which is masking tape and that'll just hold it in place because that's where I want it so I've got room down here to stamp my larger sentiment so this is what you get and then you can just take that tape off and you've got this piece which is what I'm going to use and see how the pieces just pop out so I'm going to put that back over here so I don't lose it I hope you all are staying safe, sheltering in place. It's been an interesting time. I've been working um, full time from home since this all started, which has been nice and strange at the same time. Um, I'm generally able to be productive from home. Um, it's just kind of hard to keep life and work separate. So I'm just going, so that'll just piece right in there like that. And I think that makes a fun, because you can see more of the black and that's kind of what I wanted to do. And then I'm gonna pop this up when I put it back in here like this. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp our large sentiment on here. And I'm going to want to put, you know, the line as well. And you know, there's a couple ways I could do this. I could put the, you're seriously the best line, you know, under the thanks. So I could put that a little bit higher like that, or I can do it like I did and put the thanks lower and put the other sentiment here. So I'm using um, a thin, this might be a little bit wider than it is. I think I'll try this. Yeah, this is the size I want. So I'm going to heat emboss this, you're seriously the best on this black one. Um, and then to make sure I have room, um, I really think I like it above the thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the thanks on here. And I'm using Memento ink. This is Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm just gonna ink that up really good. Make sure I've got good ink on there. You can see that. I love these large <laughs> sentiment stamps. And I think there is one or two in the new catalog with some larger sentiments that you're going to like. Um, I'm going to like too because look how crisp and beautiful that looks in the black. So I'm going to clean off this stamp real quick since I'm done with that. And then in order to heat emboss on here, I'm going to stamp this in Versamark ink. And then I'm going to heat emboss with white, um, white embossing powder. I'm going to rub my embossing buddy over this before I stamp it. And that just kind of gets the static off. Now our embossing buddy isn't carrying over into the new catalog for some reason. So um, you can use a dryer sheet that works as well to get the static off. So hopefully I have that straight, kind of straight, probably straight enough. So I'm going to go and emboss this and I will be right back. Okay. 
and that looks pretty good. You can see I kind of double stamped where on this end a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and banner cut the ends with my triple banner punch, banner triple punch, whatever the name is. This is also in the new catalog, which is awesome because it's really useful for banner cutting the ends of your sentiments like this. Um, you can also use, you just use your snips and cut up the middle. Um, I'm just trying to get that in the middle. I don't know. It's not staying real straight. Cut that a little bit closer to that edge, like so. And I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to set that to the side. And now I'm going to make my flowers and I'm going to set this aside like this. I've got a scrap of Whisper White paper and I'm going to stamp the outlines of the flowers, um, these poppy flowers, and um, I'm going to stamp just a little, it's a kind of a splotchy middle and see what that looks like. So I'm using the I'm using Mango Melody for that and also um, Lovely Lipstick. So again, the Lovely Lipstick ink is going to be discontinued because it's a it's an ink color um, that is retiring. They get a new set. We get new sets of five ink colors every year, and they last for two years. So. I'm gonna stamp that off and then stamp it on and turn it and stamp it again on. And I'm gonna see what that looks like. Um, and then with the Mango Melody, I'm gonna do the smaller one a um, couple of times, full strength and not full strength, stamping off. And just see I really like these splotchy stamps um, I don't know I just think they're super fun because uh, they just give you an interesting pattern so um, I'm gonna do one more on this one that's full strength I think like that and then I'm going to stamp these outlines in black close these up so I don't get disasters and then I'm just going to take my tuxedo black so how has this time affected you um, in your life my job um, I work at a university and I run a technology transfer office, which is um, we manage all of the inventions that are created on campus as a result of the um, research that's done there and license technologies and things like that. So um, I can do that fully from home. I'm gonna add a little bit more color to these two yellow flowers just because I think they need a little bit more color and you can kind of see um, now that I've got the um, now that I've got the outline on there where I need more color I think that looks really pretty um, and it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines because I'm going to cut them out so this one and I need to get the other one out and then you just kind of need to turn it until you figure out that's how it goes right there. And I'm going to hold that on there with some tape so that doesn't move. And then um, I didn't get the other one out. So here's the one that cuts the other flower out. So I'm going to cut that out like that and I'm going to need a little bit more tape here um, you can just get this tape on Amazon or somewhere or you can use a post-it note to hold these in place some people do that too 
Um, my embossing folders are pretty old and they've got a lot of little cuts in them so the the dies tend to move for me but um, we have a new embossing machine coming out it's in the new catalog it's not available yet so it will be coming out and i'll get some new plates when i get those but i'm going to cut these out and i'll be right back all right and you can see how those cut out so nicely and i think those are so pretty I really love those splotchy stamps. I think they're, you can do so much with them. And I look forward to playing with them a lot more. So today is Memorial Day, as I said. I don't know what you're doing today. Um, I'm playing in my scrapbook room, stamping room, obviously. I haven't been in here in a while. Part of the reason for that is um, we've had a lot of family stay with us during this time. My son, who is 24, lives with us, um, so he's got his room. I moved my stamping room into my daughter's bedroom about a year and a half ago when she went away to college, but she's been in and out um, over the last, whatever, it's been 10 weeks. And my stepdaughter and grandson have stayed with us at the beginning they were with us quite a bit and my grandson still stays with us um, pretty often he's two um, my son-in-law was in a serious accident at work in january and he had been in the hospital and rehab facilities until the end of april so for two months so that's why my stepdaughter and grandson were staying with us and um and so they were in the guest bedroom downstairs and my daughter was staying in a mattress on the floor here in her old room. And um, I cut this, um, I cut this one out, this, this um, what is it, kind of frame one. Um, it doesn't really go on these smaller flowers, so I don't think I'm going to use it, but I thought I might use it, so I had that cut out. But I'm not going to use that one because it doesn't really fit these smaller flowers right now. Um, but I cut out some leaves as well, so I can use some of these leaves on here. Um, so let's go ahead and put this card together. So I'm going to just use my green glue and glue this piece onto the black piece and this glue I think is about done. Um, let's see if I can get it to come out. I store it upside down like this. I got these real cute little, um, they're candle holders but I found them at an estate sale and I thought they would be perfect for holding my glue and they are. So I'm going to, a little piece came off there. There, it's starting to come out. Um, these, this one's been a little cantankerous the whole time. I don't know why I don't usually have problems with these green glues. Green glues, multi-purpose liquid glue, um, it's another word for it. So I'm just going to glue that down on this black piece. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the black piece onto the card base. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna use liquid glue for that. So let's put a little bit on the back here and put that down like so. And then this piece I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, pop up with our um, dimensionals. So what was I saying? Um, so my daughter, when she's here, was staying in this room. My stepdaughter was in the guest room downstairs. My stepdaughter is back at home since my son-in-law has been home the last month. Um, and they live in Arlington, Texas, which is actually where I work, where the university I work at is and it's about 40 miles from here so I usually stay with them at their house during the week when I'm working on campus but 
I mean, I'm sure you all are aware that universities are kind of in a unique position right now with um, some universities are, have already announced they're going to hold their fall semester completely online. So we went completely online after spring break like pretty much all other universities. And I have a hard time with these sometimes. I don't know, I think these dimensionals are kind of old and so this release paper doesn't come up as easily, but um, it's usually pretty easy to get off. So I'm popping this one up. I wanted to be able to see the, um, there, the black behind it a little better than I did on my sample card. So that's why I wanted to use that label other rather than just a circle. Um, and then I'm going to stick these on, these flowers. I'm going to put a glue dot on this end but I'm going to use glue on this side so that it's the same height as this label popped up. So I'm going to use a mini glue dot right here. Can you see the mini? We have mini glue dots that are awesome. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on this end so it'll stick on the label. And that should stick on just fine. And then, yep. And then I'm going to tuck this one, tuck these in here just like this. So I can use, um, I can use a little glue dot on this end, mini glue dot and some glue. Um, so that's why I haven't been playing in my room as much. And it's just been kind of a weird time getting used to being home all the time and having so many people around and taking care of the grandson. Of course, when he's here, that takes up all of our time, which we, we love having him here. He's just the sweetest little guy. He just turned two on May 2nd, so that one I'm just gonna stick like that. And then I'm going to cut these leaves, like maybe right here. And um, let me cut that little stem off right there. And stick that in there. So I'm going to use a glue dot for that. And I have these glue dots. They're stamping up blue dots and they're really great for tucking things in behind. Um, I think this one, maybe I'll tuck it under here like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty. So I'm gonna use a glue dot on here, maybe a couple of glue dots, and it looks like I'm almost out of glue dots on this roll. I mean, I've had this roll forever, so these glue dots really last a long time and they are just awesome for sticking things um, under things like that. Um, you want to see how I want you want to make sure you don't go outside the card. Maybe I'll just snip this one off. Tuck it. Oops, stuck to my finger a little bit. Tuck it in there. Um, just make sure it doesn't go off the edge of the card. So you can get it in an envelope. And but I like having that little bit of green here. Did I say that this is Call Me Clover, this green? I don't think I did. <laughs> this green is Call Me Clover. And I'm gonna stick that down in there which is another um, in color that is retiring this year. Um, so if you like it, you'll wanna grab some of it before, um, before June 3rd, so by June 2nd. Um, I'm gonna have that kinda come over that like that. I think that looks kinda good. So now I just have to put this down and I'm going to put it up with some mini dimensionals and just 
just pop that up just like so and as you can see those are easier to get that off so and I want that to overlap that leaf I think that looks good so I'm just gonna pop that right above the big thanks it's not exactly centered but I don't care isn't that pretty I just love how that turned out so I'm going to put a, an inside piece. I have a piece of the white and that'll just fit in here. When you have these darker card bases, it's good to put a piece of white in and I'm going to stamp that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp it with the lovely lipstick um, in the corner down here. I'm going to stamp one off like that and I think that is enough yeah and then I'm gonna stamp in black almost made a mistake there using my memento oops I'm gonna stamp on the inside here just like this and there you have a pretty little flower on the inside of your card and I'm gonna stick that down with the liquid glue. My lid is sticking and I saw this card, um, this, not this card, but a similar style on Instagram and I get a lot of my ideas for um, layouts on cards just paging through Instagram or Pinterest or um, Facebook and that's stuck down there there you go Isn't that beautiful I love that card so and I really like how it looks here on the edge with this um, with this label that I used and remember this is in the this carries over to the new catalog these poppies and these dies and this label so um, I think that's really awesome so thanks for joining me today. I've had fun stamping with you again, and I look forward to continuing to stamp with you um, as we go into our new catalog. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.